Good afternoon. Okay, now you can hear me, right? Can you hear me? Good afternoon. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Alas. Okay, welcome everybody. Thank you for connecting on time. So today is our class number three. And today's topic is the bird to be. The famous bird to be. <laughs> affirmative uh, and negative statements and if we have time questions okay if not we continue tomorrow with that topic so first let me show you the class presentation i prepare for you okay we have first this is the topic and it's class number three and today is monday february 28th the last day of the month of February. So tomorrow, what month is gonna be? Tomorrow. No, February, goodbye, February. And tomorrow we say welcome. March. Welcome March, exactly, thank you so much. Let's see, the last and objective for this class is that but at the end of the class, you will learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be. Oh my God. So before we start the class, I mean, the topic of the bird to be, we are going to practice what we learned the last class. What was the main topic or vocabulary of the previous class on Friday? What was it? Do you remember? Also the homework was related The alphabet. The alphabet, exactly. So in this moment, everybody is going to write in your notebook, everybody, write in your notebook, write, okay, escribe, write in your notebook 10 words in English. 10 words in English, okay? So any words in English you know, in English, for example, maybe you know book or car, or house or family, flower, computer, cell phone, etc. 10 words, okay? Write in your notebook in this moment, 10 words, 10 words in English, okay? Okay, 10 words in English, chicken, pizza, hamburger, um, class, um, brother, mother, father, any word, any word you know in English. Okay, so everybody is in this moment writing 10 words in English, 10 palabras en inglés, escriba 10 palabras en inglés, write. 10 words in English. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do to write 10 words in English. Okay. Please let me know when you finish. Finished? Finish. Great. Somebody else is finished? We're gonna wait for the people that have just gone. Oh, and today we only have 11 participants. Hmm. Finish. Okay, great. So now we have two people. Finish. Excellent. Somebody else is finished? Oh. 
Okay, this is what you're gonna do now. I will assign you in groups. Okay, or in, I hope in pairs. And you are going to uh, take turns to spell words. For example, van a tomar turnos para um, deletrear. For example, I say, um, let's see, let me, okay, Josue Castellón. Imagine you are my partner. Tú eres mi compañero. You are my partner. So I will ask you, Josué, how do you spell chicken? C-H-I-C-K-E-N. Uh, -E Excellent. Now you ask me. But your audio is off. Okay, thank you. Uh, Miss Rocio, how do you spell chicken? Or another word from your list. Uh, how do you spell phone? P H O N E, phone. That's correct. <laughs> okay, thank you. So you're going to take turns with your classmate to spell the words. Okay, if you don't remember, uh, if you don't remember or you don't know the word, you can you can say, I don't know. Can you spell it for me? Okay, let me write here what are some of the expressions that you can use. Oh, oops. Give me a second. For example, you can ask, sorry. You can say, sorry, I don't know the word. Or you can say, can you repeat, please? That's a, that is another possibility. You can say, can you repeat, please? Mm -hmm. So you can use those expressions. Good afternoon, Karen. Good afternoon, teacher, class. <laughs> okay, so these are the words that you can, these are the expressions, I'm sorry, that you can use. For example, if I say, um, how do you spell um, microwave, for example, and you say, sorry, I don't know the word. And so if your classmate doesn't know the word, you can spell it. Si su compañero no sabe cómo se deletrea, usted lo puede deletrear. Usted lo puede deletrear para su compañero, ¿verdad? Or you can say, can you repeat, please? Uh -huh. Así que, ¿qué vamos a hacer? ¿Alguien puede retroalimentar? Vamos. A ver, Carlita. Ok. Quiero ver. How do you um, father? How do you spell? How do you spell father? Ok, F. A T H E R, father. <laughs> you can tell your partner, yes, that's correct, or good yes. job, or excellent. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. Bueno, entonces, eso es lo que vamos a hacer: deletrear, ¿verdad? Spell words, spell words from your list. De la lista que hicieron, de las 10 palabras que escribieron van a eh, pedirle a sus compañeros que deletreen. Muy bien, entonces ahorita los mando. Si no, tienen, si no tienen una lista de palabras, ahorita pueden empezar a hacer una lista, aunque sea de cinco palabras, ¿verdad? En inglés, cualquier palabra en inglés que se sepa. Vale, ahorita los mando a las alitas. Okay, go on, please.
U T A D A R A computadora. Okay. 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 Este Xiomara, how, how do you lo, how do you spell uh, people? P E O P L E. Okay, very good. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? How are you? I'm fine. Okay, that's great. Um, do you need help for the practice? I don't listen to Sanchez. Ah, the instructions. Okay. First, you need to write a list of 10 words. Any words you know in English, cualquier palabra que sepa en inglés. You write 10 words or five, and then you take turn to your classmate, in este caso Sanchez, I don't know if it's Karina. And uh, you ask, how do you spell, how do you spell, for example, Henry, how do you spell teacher? S T I E T H T E R. Okay, can you repeat, please? Is T T E E I A A C H A E R E R. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Mr. Rojas. Um, how do you spell um, uh, chicken? C H E I I Q C not C. K. 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 E. E. N. N. Very good. That's correct. Chicken. Okay. Henry, how do you spell school? E. S. 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 Uh -huh. C. C. H. O, O, L. Very good, yes, it's right. Okay, um, Henry, how do you spell, um, how do you spell hamburger? H, I, A, A, N, B O U U R G U No, just E. R. R. Yeah, very good. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mr. Rojas. <coughs> Okay, we are going to come back to the main session. Excuse me, repeat for please. Okay, vamos a regresar a la sala principal. Okay, how did you feel in the practice? How did it go? ¿Cómo les fue? Nice. 
Okay, very, that's good. That's good to hear. <laughs> Were the words difficult or easy? Difficult or easy? Easy. 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 Okay. Or so so. Easy. Easy. Okay. That's great. I like that. We have to wait a little bit. Okay. So. I have here a list of words. Maybe I can have some volunteers to spell. Okay, a volunteer to spell the next word. Un voluntario para deletrar la siguiente palabra que aparecerá. I can. Okay, go ahead. The next one. People, Xiomara. How do you say okay, people? P I O P L E. Ah, P E. P I O P E O P L E. Yes, remember this is E. Remember the vowels? A E I O U. Thank you, Xiomara. Okay, another person to spell the next word. Any volunteer? Hi, Miss. Okay. 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 Please go on. Teacher, how do you spell teacher? T E A C C H E R Okay, teacher, that's great. Thank you, Carlita. And the last word, any other volunteer? I miss. Quiero ver quién, 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 who? Usted en la charla. Hi, 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 Samuel. Okay, Samuel. A student. Okay, S T U D E N T. Very nice, thank you so much. I wrote other words, for example, pizza, school, book, house, computer, apple, and that's it. <laughs> okay, so that was the, the warm up of the class and review, review of the last Friday's class. Now, today we're going to focus on the verb to be as statements and questions. I think you have an idea about this, but today you are going to learn and practice using the verb be. Well, first we need to know that in English we have some subject pronouns. What is on a subject pronouns? I, yo, you, tú, he, él, she, ella, it, esto, o eso. We, nosotros, you, ustedes, they, ellos. Entonces, so, with uh, the verb be is different in each, as with each subject pronoun. For example, with I, we say I am, I am. You are, he is, she is, it is. So in singular, is. He is, she is, it is. We, yes, plural, you and they, we use are. We are, you are, they are. And there are some short or contracted forms that are uh, commonly used in English. Like, instead of saying I am, they say um, 
Um, yes, um, you have to close your lips. Um, also, we have you are your, your, his, his, she's, she's, it is, it's, we are, we're, you are, you're, they are, they're. Okay? So these are the short forms or contractive forms. Now, this is in affirmative form, but we make it negative, adding not. Solo le agregamos el not. I am not. Or I'm not. You are not or you aren't. He is not or he isn't. She is not, she isn't. It is not, it isn't. We are not, we aren't. You are not, you aren't. They are not, they aren't. Estas son en negative form. They are in negative form. Están en negativo. Y para hacer la forma de pregunta, interrogative form, solo le damos vuelta, ¿verdad? A la tortilla. Y ponemos el verbo to be antes, al principio, y luego el sujeto, como am I, y el complement. Are you, is he, is she, is it, are we, are you, are they. Veamos ahora ejemplos de oraciones completas. Some examples with um, complete sentences. ¿Para qué usamos el verb to be? We used to be in present to talk about names, para decir nuestros nombres, professions, nationalities, age, feelings, and marital status. Entonces, para eso se usa el verbo to be. To say our names, para decir, um, for example, I am, in this example, I am Frank. Professions, I am an architect, soy arquitecto. Uh, nationalities, I am from London, I am English. Age, I am 35 years old. Feelings, I am not happy. <laughs> Marital status, I am not single, oh, so maybe he is married. <laughs> And to talk about other people, for example, my brother is a dentist and my sister is a secretary. Oops, sorry. My favorite sports are tennis and golf. Tennis and golf. We use R because it, there are two sports. My favorite sports are tennis and golf. Okay, and we have more examples over here. I would like a volunteer to read the examples that are here. I'm sorry, these ones. I am Sara and he is Jake. Can I have a volunteer to read the other sentences? Who would like to read the other sentences? Me, teacher. Okay, please. Uh, number two. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Yom is tired. He is in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. She is very young. She is she's only 12. Uh, it's two in the morning. It's very cold. You're from Italy. You're Italian. The cars are in the garage. Uh, Jim. Ah, perdón. Perdón, perdón, que se me uh, Jim and I are classmates. Thank you so much. And nice pronunciation of the words. Yeah, so you see, it's not difficult, right? It's very easy to use. Mm -hmm. Entonces, yo voy a decir, por ejemplo, el sujeto, the subject pronoun, y usted me dice cuál es el uh, verb to be form that it, we have to use. If I say we, we 
R. R. I. M. He. Is. They. R. R. She. Is. You. R. R. My mother. Is. Is. Peter. Is. Uh, my dog. It. It is. Uh, my cell phone. It is. My house. Is. My computer. Is. Is. The cats. Is. Are. Are because are. it's plural. Uh huh. Are. The books. R. 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 Maria and Pedro. R. 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 My mother and I. R. 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 You and me. R. 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 <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so now it's your turn to practice. Okay, so tell me what is the correct form here. We have Sara. Is. Is. Is my. Exactly. my but read the whole sentence. Sara is. Is my. My best friend. Sara is my best friend. Adam and John. Are. Are. Teacher. Are, are teachers. Are teachers. She. Is. Is my sister. Is. Is. Uh -huh. She's my sister. We. Are. 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 Good. Very good students. Good students. Uh, we are. Uh, we are. Yes, they uh, are. Are. They are. are doctors. It is. It is, an it is, it is an orange. An orange. Abra, Abraham and I are. Are, uh, brothers. are brothers. Brothers. Uh, he is, is a nice is, It is. Is you is excellent nice house, right? Okay, rearrange the sentence. Muy bien, hagamos ese ejercicio, por favor. We do it in, in your notebook. For example, let's do the first. Tenemos I not a student um. ¿Cómo sería the order? I am, uh, I am not, not a, student. a student. Nice, exactly. That is the correct form. I am not a student. And the next one? He is my brother. He is my brother. Okay, let's do it together. Okay, next. They. They, they are, are beautiful. Uh, beautiful. beautiful. The girls are beautiful. Uh -huh. Lara, Lara is, is, in, is the classroom. in the classroom. Okay. We, 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 are, are, we are not sad. Not, not sad. We're not sad. We're happy. Okay, next. My, my, father, my father, father is happy. Is happy. 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 Ma, okay, next. My mother, my mother is, is a, a, a housewife. Yes, Post housewife. Okay. She is not my cousin. She's not, she's not my cousin. She is my cousin. Not my cousin. Okay. Ada is intelligent. And the last one. The cat, the cat, the cat is, is friendly. 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 Okay. Very nice. You see, it's very easy. So, guys, now I want you to work on this. Um, I will show you an example of my own, my example. And you have to do 
something similar but with your information your information okay so this is let's uh, oops okay ah <laughs> well the questions we're going to do it later right now i want you to do this example so this is about me I am Rocio, I'm sleepy. <laughs> well, in this moment, I'm not sleepy, I'm hungry because I didn't have lunch before the class. So I'm hungry. I'm a teacher of English. So this is my profession. I'm a, a teacher of English. My favorite colors are red, blue, and pink. Red, blue, and pink. I mentioned three colors. That's why I say are my favorite colors are in plural, right? My marital status, my estado civil. I'm married. He in the picture, he is my husband, Eduardo. His name is Eduardo. I'm from San Salvador. I'm Salvadorian. My nationality and my city. I'm 28 years old, but I'm not 28 anymore. I'm 29. <laughs> when this is the employee, I was 28, but now I'm 29 years old. My husband is an employee. He is an optimistic person. So you can, you are going to do something similar in your notebook. Se puede dibujar usted ahí, vea, con una carita feliz, con unos colochitos, o el pelo liso whatever, <laughs> o de palito, se dibuja, y luego alrededor va a poner eh, diferentes oraciones usando el verb to be. I'm Rocío, ahí usted puede poner I am Lilian, or I am Carla, I am Diego, I am Samuel. Puede poner, eh, por ejemplo, el estado civil, yo les voy a poner aquí en el chat son marital status. Vamos a ver algunos. Marital status o estado civil. Marriott es Marriott casado o casada. Eh, single. ¿Qué es single? A ver quién sabe. Soltero. Exactly. Ahí bien saben. What if you want to say divorced? ¿Qué decir? Ah, divorce? Ah, ok. Yes, those are the marital status. Um, occupations, for example, secretary. A ver, tell me some occupations, for example. Secretary. System engineer. Engineer. Ok, engineer. A student. A student. Cook, cocinero, a uh, waiter or waitress. Waiter is mesero and waitress is mesera. You can say employee. Housewife, quiere decir ama de casa, housewife or housekeeper. Businessman. Okay, businessman, exactly, or businesswoman or business person. Pilot. Oh, a pilot, okay. A driver also, driver, taxi driver, Uber driver. Um, what else? Nurse, que es enfermera or doctor. Okay, you know the occupations. Uh, what else? Mm, about feelings, ¿cómo se siente? ¿verdad? Usted puede poner sleepy, que es con sueño, ¿verdad? Hungry, que es con hambre o hambriento. Like me, because I didn't have time to, take, to have my lunch. Sleepy, hungry, happy, eh, sad, eh, optimistic. Um, what else? 
relax. Oh, nice. Relax. Stressed. Stress out. <laughs> Okay, um, and well, the age, you know. Okay, so please let's work on this. I'm gonna give you time to work on this exercise, please. Let's get a ver a todos trabajando. Another one could be I am busy. Es ocupado, ¿verdad? O enojado, angry. O cansado, tired. Enfermo, sick. Now, colors, usted puede decir my favorite colors or my favorite food, colors, food, or hobbies, or news, kind of music, or my favorite animals, and my favorite, um, what else? Movies. Etc. My favorite fruits. You can change. If you are not married yet, because I wrote about my husband, mi esposo, but you can talk about your son, a family or a friend. Family member or friend. Your best friend, for example. Family members could be your mother, your father. Your son, hijo, or your hija, daughter, or your cousin, primo, prima, or your grandmother, or your grandfather, or your brother, or your sister, or your uncle, or your aunt. Exactly. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, about any person. Okay, when you complete the assignment, you can raise your hand, okay? Do you know how to raise your hand virtually? Ahí en reacciones, okay, very nice, Ernesto. Ernesto is finished. Who else? <clears throat> Ah, Daniela, also. 
Okay, Ernesto, would you like to share with the class? Please. Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm Ernesto. I am 28 years old. <laughs> I am account receivable and also a student. Uh, my favorite colors are gray and Mary. His name is Abigail. I'm from San Salvador and Salvadorian. And that's all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Ernesto. And about your wife. Wife. Or you can say girlfriend or boyfriend. So maybe you are not married yet, but you are engaged. Tal vez están comprometidos, ¿verdad? I don't know. <laughs> Bye, Ernesto. Mire, ahí donde dice, puedes repetir el nombre de ella. Donde, esa oración. Ok. Eh... I I am in I am married. Uh, she, she, uh, her name is Abigail. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's her. Her name is oh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Thank you. That's the correct <laughs> word. Her name is uh -huh. okay. Thank you. And if your favorite color is only one, you will say my favorite color is, right? If it's only one. Thank you, Ernesto. Good job. Okay, Daniela, would you like to share with the class, please, Daniela? Hi, Miss. Hello. I am Daniela. I am happy. I am a student in system engineer. 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 Engineering. Mm -hmm. My favorite color uh, are blue. I am single. I am from San Salvador. I believe Soyapango. I am two years old. 20. Two. 22. Ah, 22. You are 22 years old. Yes. Okay. Um, so if if you say my favorite color is because you mentioned only one. Yes. Can you repeat, please? My favorite color are one. No. No, my favorite color is? Uh, my favorite color is blue. Blue. Oh, exactly. That is the correct yes. form. My favorite color is Blue, excellent, great, good. Any other person would like to share? Teacher, yo. Okay, Henry. I am Henry, I am stressed out. I am a student of English. My favorite colors are black, red, and blue. I am single. I am from San Salvador. I am Salvadoran. I am 43 years old. My favorite sport is basketball. Excellent, Mr. Rojas. That was perfect. Okay. Uh, just be careful with the spelling of Salvadoran or Salvadoran. Fíjense que se puede decir de dos formas. Salvadoran. Salvadoreño. Puede ser Salvadoran. Or Salvadorian. Las dos formas están correctas. Okay. One more volunteer. And me, teacher. Okay, Carlita, and who was the other person? ¿Quién más habló? Me, me teacher, um, okay. I am, I am karma. My favorite color are green, pink, 
y blue. Green, pink, and blue. I am Mary. He is my husband, Luis. No, he is. He is. He is. He is. He is. He is, he is my husband, Luis. Este, I am. I am have two children. I am from El Salvador. I am live Santiago de Zacuangos. I am 35 years old. My husband is a mechanic. A mechanic. Okay. Thank you, Carlita, to give more information. So you have two children. Yes. yes. Okay. What are their names? What are their names of your children? Um, son. My son. My son is my daughter. Okay. What is your son's name? Your son's name, Mateo, Carlin. Mat my son, my son is Matias. My daughter is Sofia. Oh, okay. My niece, my niece's name is Sofía. Yes. <laughs> my niece's. Okay, bueno, vamos a hacer una aclaración con respecto al verb to be. Y es que cuando usamos el verb to be, ese es el verbo principal, ¿verdad? No vamos a utilizar otros verbos. Bueno, por ejemplo, eh, solo es para un ejemplo, ¿verdad, Carlita? Porque así aprendemos. Uh -huh. Si yo digo, yo tengo... Yo tengo dos hijos. Entonces, I have, I have, I have two children. Y no usamos el, el verbo to be. Porque aquí el verbo principal es tener. No es yo soy tengo, ¿verdad? O yo estoy tengo, sino yo tengo. I have, I have two children. Uh -huh. Y, um, ay, no recuerdo qué otro dijo. Ah, de vivir. I live. I live in. Santiago Texacuán. Entonces igual, el verbo es live, vivir. Live. Entonces, yo uh -huh. vivo, yo vivo. Uh -huh. I live en Santiago Texacuán. No vamos a usar el am is. ahí, uh -huh. ni el is ni el are. Porque no estaría bien. Yo soy vivo, yo soy vivo en Santiago Texacuán. O yo estoy vivo en Santiago Texacuán. No, ¿verdad? Yo vivo en Santiago Texacuán. Pero sí podemos decir, I am from Santiago. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? O I am a mother of two children. Pero es más común decir, I have two children. ¿Ok? I appreciate that you give more information. Very good. Tatiana Excellent. manda un café. Así es como. ¿Cómo? Tatiana manda café. Okay. Que pase, Ay, no pasa el cafecito, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Pero con pan. <laughs> okay, somebody else. Okay, okay. Más? Alguien más? Somebody else would like to share with the class. Okay, go ahead, Mirna. Okay. Vamos a intentarlo. <laughs> yes, of course. That is, uh, ah. that is the purpose. Okay. I am Mirna. Um, I am happy. Um, I am a secretary. Um, my favorite color. My my favorite color is uh, are red and rose. Um, I am married. Is my husband Milton. I am from Aguachapan. Um, I am 36 years old. My husband is a mechanic. Thank you. Okay. Correcciones. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. So good job. Okay, guys, I can see that you're very intelligent. Okay, now okay. to um, 
tomorrow we are going to continue with the questions because we didn't have more time for that. But tomorrow we are going to work on that. Right now, I'm going to send you the link of an uh, exercise, of an exercise to practice more the, the bird to be. Okay, so I will send you the link. Voy a mandar el link para que puedan hacer el ejercicio. ¿Verdad? Tenemos todavía some minutes. We still have some minutes to do the exercise. I hope that you can finish. Ay, miren que no me lo copia. Give me a moment. Okay. There you go. I sent the link and I will try to send it via WhatsApp too, but let me activate the WhatsApp. Okay. There you go with the exercise online. In this exercise, you have to choose the right word B. For example, J. Yes. What's the idea? What is the correct answer? Yes. Yes. And I say, exactly. He is a nice boy. Okay. Number three. I, I am. I am intelligent. She is. She is. She's the best student. Number five. We are. 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 We And here you will use a little uh, pencil. I am. I am. I am. We are. She is. She is. Is. You. You are. are. No quiere pintar. Es para allá. Ok. They are. are. And he is. He is. He is. <laughs> no quiere, no quiere. Re replace with the right pronoun. Aquí va a reemplazar con el pronombre correcto. Por ejemplo, Ana, ¿cuál sería el, el su pronombre que usaría? She. She, correcto. She. Sebastian and I. Um, we are. We. 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 No, we. Charles. He. 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 Ay, 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 okay. And Chris and Sara. We. They. 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 So I checked, I finished. I checked my answer. I need an accessible robe. I know it's mm -hmm. okay. Very good. Okay. That's great. 
Now guys, as homework, well, here you can do more exercises. There are many exercises that you can do, but that's optional. What you need to do is to advance in the platform, hacer una plataforma, y de tareas van a ser como el mismo ejercicio que acabamos de hacer, pero de otra persona, no usted. No, alguien más. Okay, it can be your. It can be your. Bueno, hay que tener cuidado con cuando tenemos el micrófono encendido, ¿verdad? Porque si no estamos, si no vamos a participar, lo apagamos. Porque si no, y de repente hay algún ruidito y, y se escucha fuerte y duelen los oídos para quienes, por ejemplo, tienen audífonos. Okay, so what is the homework for tomorrow? Mire, yo se había estado bien calladito. Yes, I am busy, teacher. <laughs> now you are very shy. Be quiet. Okay, Jose, what is the homework for tomorrow's class? Eh, hacer un ejercicio. Eh, Igual el de, que acabamos de hacer, solo que de otra persona. Exacto. Y avanzar en la plataforma. Exacto. ¿Y de quién va a escribir usted? Eh, about my eh, partner, Joe. Ok, about your partner. Ok, good. It can be about your partner, a family member, a friend, a famous person. Famous person. A famous person, etc. Ok, but remember to include... Uh, the name, the occupation, the age, the marital status. What else? Favorite things mm -hmm. or feelings. But, or characteristics, for example, he is tall, he is alto, or she is short, he is pequeña, or she is blonde, he is rubia, or uh, she is brunette, or he is brunette, es cabello negro, o morena. Okay. ¿Qué aprendimos hoy? What did we learn today? A ver. Verbo, verbo to be. Okay, we we'll learned the verb to be. Yes, Karen iba a decir algo. El verbo to be al usar, al realizar, hacer preguntas. Okay, ajá. Sí, mañana vamos a aprender más sobre las preguntas, ¿verdad? Que les decía que solo cambia la posición del verbo. Y en vez de ir en segundo, va de primero. Ok. So, class, you were very nice. It was great to see you. I hope to see you tomorrow, the same hour, with the same classmates, with the same ID and password. Ok. Bye, bye. Have a nice afternoon. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye. See you later. Tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. 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 De la plataforma, lo puede hacer en su cuaderno también porque igual lo vamos a socializar con sus compañeros. Así que debe okay. tenerlo a la mano. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Welcome. Bye.